donkey. After a long time, a fair came to the jungle. All the animals, big and small, were very happy and excited about the fair. Young animals were enjoying different rides. Shanky, the little grey donkey, also visited the fair. He wanted to enjoy the ride named Columbus. So, he stood at the corner of the ticket window but was barely visible. Thus, he was unable to buy the ticket. The moment Shanky tried to move forward, someone or the other pushed him back. Shanky became very upset. One of his friends, Laura, the mule, was observing all that. She understood why Shanky was upset. She went towards Shanky and asked him to bray loudly. Shanky's loud bray would attract the ticket man's attention and the ticket man would give him the ticket. Shanky understood the idea and started braying loudly. The ticket man noticed him. He gave a ticket for the right Columbus to Shanky. Shanky got super excited. He enjoyed the ride very much and thanked Laura. Who is the smarter? One day, a wolf and a jackal were fighting with each other. The wolf bragged to the jackal, Hey jackal, I am more educated than you. The jackal quietly said, Yes, my friend, you are right, but I am definitely smarter than you. Just then, a tiger roared. Nobody is so educated as I am. The wolf rose on seeing the tiger, while the jackal quickly thought of a plan to escape. He said, Yes, sir, you are. That is the reason we want you to suggest who should have the chickens, me or the wolf. The tiger was greedy. He thought of savouring not only the chickens but also the healthy jackal and the wolf. The tiger said, show me the chickens first. The jackal showed him a small cave. Sir, the chickens are inside the cave. As soon as the tiger went inside, the clever jackal covered the entrance with a rock. The wolf was impressed to see the jackal's move. He said, I was wrong. You are definitely the smarter one. Why rabbits are herbivores? Several thousands of years ago, there lived a hunter rabbit named Chuck. One day, Chuck saw some big footprints. He followed them and went deep into the forest. But he found nothing. He felt hungry and ate berries. Next morning, Chuck again followed the footsteps but could not find anything. He had to again eat some berries. He was fed up of eating berries. That night, he decided to lay a net for hunting. But to his shock, he discovered a big hole in the net. So he went to meet his magician grandmother. Chuck told her everything. She gave him a magical net that could not be cut. Chuck laid out the net on the pathway. Next morning, Chuck heard a voice. Let me out or else the world will remain dark forever. He went out and saw that he had captured the sun. Chuck quickly freed the sun. But the sun was already so angry and cursed Chuck that he and all the other rabbits would always eat plant food like berries and would never eat any animal food. The Greedy Cat Once in a jungle, there lived a man named Freddy in a small cottage. A cat named Adam often visited Freddy's cottage. Adam was a very greedy cat. Every night, she used to steal Freddy's food. One night, Adam had so much food that her tummy was excessively full. That night, she dreamt of Dodo, Freddy's dog. Dodo was chasing Adam all over the place. She woke up with a pounding heart. Next night, Adam forgot about her dream and stole Freddy's food again. And she again dreamt of Dodo. Now, Adam was very scared. The following night, when Adam tried to steal, she found that Dodo was guarding Freddy's food. That night, Adam could not eat much food. She had to manage with some blackberries. 
but Adam did not have any bad dream that night. She was very relieved and happy. So, she finally decided not to be greedy anymore. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.